morning. It's um, Monday the 25th of September today and um, we're moored here at Greenberfield, just at the bottom of the locks. You see it's beautiful scenery here. We've been here for about 10 days now, it's a 14 day mooring. Um, but um, yeah, it's time for us to move on. Um, so we're gonna go up this flight, I think three locks here, and then we're gonna get um, some water, uh, empty our toilet cassettes and get rid of our rubbish. Then we're gonna move on to, um, to Saltersford, which is uh, only about sort of three, four miles and um, stop there tonight. And um, then we're probably gonna move on to, to the tunnel at, at Fowlridge. But um, it's been absolutely delightful here. We're a bit apprehensive about where we're gonna end up now because this is such such lovely scenery around here. And um, people have said to us about how this is the best part. Um, so we're heading to a, a not so nice bit, I don't know, but uh, we'll see, we'll see how we go. So anyway, Kay's gone up to set the lock so I'm just going to push off and um, going to get us get us moving. Mayor's just down there getting ready to come up to the locks and we've had cows and sheets for neighbours. Believe it or not, we've actually tidied up the roof quite a lot. It's still a bit of a mess though. Go the roof. Just three locks today. So there's this lock here, as we come in, you'll notice there's a quite a high sill. Uh, just where that water's flowing in. And that's what causes quite an issue back early in the summer, um, but more so for a boat got stuck on it. Um, so yeah, it's back in July. Uh, this poor unfortunate boat, uh, I think it was coming down in the lock, lock 42, and it got caught on that sill, which tipped the boat forward. And um, water came into the front of the boat, and it tipped it yeah, right in, so it's completely sunk. And uh, from what I understand, the couple that are on it, um, were, were perfectly okay, they got off alright, but um, yeah, this was a, a, a brand new boat apparently, and um, it was absolutely uh, ruined, uh, yeah, because it was, it was sunk, so it's uh, very, very scary to see, and, and it must have been really scary when it happened, and it's so unfortunate when you see this sort of thing, it really is sort of uh, so sad for someone to lose everything so quickly, because it does happen very, very quickly when the water starts coming, if you don't get the gate shut in time, it, this is what can unfortunately happen. It's quite unbelievable really for the amount of rain that we had last night, but if you can just see over there, um, if you can see it or not, you can actually see the side, and normally the water is that high that it's going over that by wash, so the water is really low here. Um, a couple of days once the rain comes down off the the moors and hills, I'm sure it'd be high again. So I'm going on to set the next lock so some more water's in this pound for Paul to be able to manoeuvre up to the next lock. You can see here, this is where the cattle come down and all the time we've been here, water's been, you've not been able to see that bottom step there. So that's how low Some more water in. Now this pound here between uh, the bottom and the middle lock at Greenwood Field is very low. You can see like where that uh, that water line where the moss is there where it should usually be. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's happened with the bottom of the locks leaking, but uh, there's enough water in for us to get through fortunately, so we haven't gone any down, we're not grounding, so um, I'm just heading now into the uh, Second out of the three locks is just up in front of us. So 
hopefully the next pound will be okay as well. Quite a few marks on this uh, on the stonework here. It's like an upside down A there. X down there, perhaps. That looks like a, that looks like a stick, man. That one. I don't know, these are marks made by the uh, engineers when they put them in. Shit, going to bang now over there. Ooh, wait for this. Bang. There's some more over here. A diamond shape. or a triangle. Oh no! Stick man is sinking. These are ground paddles. They're not my favourite and they are rife on the leaves under the pole. You actually have to lift them up. Some are impossible to lift. Um, so we've got the windy ones for where you put your windlass on and turn, which are my favourite. We've got the ones with the T-bar on that you turn, which I think Paul's shown you before. And then you've got these. These are horrendous. Terrible they were, that one went really easy. Typical. So, this middle lot, which is uh, lot 43, uh, wasn't originally here. This was added after there was an issue with um, the original two double locks that were here. So, rather than the three, there was two doubles. And um, so, you can see that bridge there. Um, it wouldn't have come through that bridge originally. Um, the, the water would have come down through just over here and down alongside this wall here so down beyond there um, there's like a channel you can still see a channel there now where um where it would have gone so there would have been a double lock and um yeah i'll show you the bridge where the water would originally have gone under when we get up there um because uh, that's now it's just like a bridge this um road goes over and there's a garden one side and um just earth the other so it's so uh, yeah it's just the bridge is still there so you can see where it used to go yeah, so this is the block 43 as it is now, but as I was saying, it used to run down through here. So you can see that cottage there with the garden and the garage. So I think it ran down through that channel and that dip through there, through this bit of field here, this side of that stone wall, and on down through to meet the bottom lock down there. So yeah, that's where it used to go. So I'll show you the bridge, we get a bit further up, the other side of that garden. So just leaving that green field boat services, which is at the top of the flight. And um, we're gonna head on down through here. Just underneath the bridge here, there's some um, leisure moorings, private moorings on the right hand side, on the so far side. And then just beyond there there is a few visitors moorings. And um, this is on the way down towards Barn Oldswick. Not really sure if this is the Yorkshire Lancashire border here because there's a Two gardens. One's got proudly flying the Yorkshire born and proud of it flag. Two right. And next door, Ops Bar, Lancashire. The one and only. The one and only. Not... Yeah, so that could be. We could just cross the border there, Kate. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It's done still shining.
red pipes carry the uh, steam from the, the boiler through to this engine which is called James and uh, it's got a, a four foot stroke and an 18 inch piston inside this engine it sounds amazing After steam's left the high pressure cylinder, James, it has lost some pressure but it has increased in volume. It passed into the low pressure cylinder, which is this one, Mary Jane, which is 34 inch in diameter, and moves the piston, which is again connected to the flywheel. And uh, after steam's been exhausted, exhausted from Mary Jane, it passes the condenser in the cellar, where it was then turned back into water. This water is then returned to the boiler. Uh, the air pump and works by this linkage of the air pump it's on the end of this screen linkage so that means you can get to the flywheel size of that barrel incredible Uh, 500 horsepower. Always got a big tip of that stuff, grass loop. Feel it clean. This is a um, lower part marine and more it's in. Quite a few finger warrants. Quite smart. Looks like most of them have got electric as well. Just about the last minute before we actually hit it. This is Penderwich, which is the boat that sells sweets from their, yeah, from their side of their boat. Trade just like we do. And they're on these moorings here, um, just past, just past the anchor in. Um, that's Salter's, Salterforth. This one here is lovely Dutch barge. We passed out on a very sharp corner on the curly whirlies and uh, a little bit precarious, but we managed to avoid each other. It's 
that Ares is one of the Liverpool short boats, one of the original ones that was used for carrying cargo to and fro on the Leeds in Liverpool. It's now been converted. Uh, I think it's now living accommodation. A few of these around, we saw another one at Kildrick. This is East Lanx and West Yorkshire Boat Club. That's what this is. East Lanx and West Yorkshire Boat Club. Yeah, very nice moorings. Oldswick with those two gardens, but on the canal, apparently that is the border. No, what? What? <laughs> it's just before this bridge, I think this is 1551, I think. I think it's 1551. No, 1152. Yeah. The other side now. Mind you, the scenery doesn't look too bad. Yeah, because that's still the Yorkshire. How is it? It's Yorkshire over there. It's a bit cheap. properties are cheap in there. properties are cheap, yeah. You can buy those up there for a few quid. <laughs> Show you where we ended up at um, at Fowl Ridge. So um, this is the visitors' moorings here, and um, just up there you can see that building that says um, Leeds Liverpool Canal and General Carriers. Um, so that's the, uh, the cafe now. It's called Cafe Cargo. I'm not sure what it's called now. I'll put a caption up to say what it is called now. But it's pretty nice food in there. Uh, they've got a bar and they're open afternoons and early evenings. Um, yeah, and just around the corner from there, just around here, is a tunnel. So this is the Wolf at Forage, a uh, really nice cabbie and restaurant uh, right beside the canal. Yeah, so there's a big car park here. I think this is all part of the line works at one time. So I'll just go and uh, show you where that is. Just in here, and it's brickwork here. So, um, I can hardly read this, but it so it's used for the construction or for the manufacture of lime mortar, which was used in the canal locks, wharfs, bridges, tunnels, and reservoirs, and for lining the bottom of the canal. Um, so, yeah, it's used to make lime mortar. You can't really make it out, but there's like a, a kiln pot at the top, and then there's coal. And the limestone was put in below that, and then there's an access hatch, and then the lime was on the very bottom. There. There's access down there through that little gangway which goes down and round. So it goes from there, down and round to that point there. 
was in the line was put right down at the very bottom there. And that's where it's burnt line came out. So yeah, it's quite a structure really. Survived all those years. That's this is Fowlridge. So Fowlridge village is up beyond beyond the um on the cafe there and there's a couple of pubs in the village some shops so these moorings where we are are 14 day we've been here nearly 14 days so we're off tomorrow 